Hello everyone, this is Brad, and today we're going to be looking at how to design uh, cams with different sizes. So what you can see on the screen right now is I have this elliptical cam. And uh, the dimensioning on it's a little bit different. We, we see that one dimension is one half D and the other dimension is a quarter D. And we want to make it for a size of one and a half inch, two inch, two and a half inch, and three inches. And so Inventor actually has a really easy way to design a part and then quickly change the dimensions. It's called parametric dimensioning. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. We're going to design this part. It's going to be real quick. And then be able to quickly change it to these other sizes. Now the thickness and the size of this center hole are going to stay the same for this cam. Uh, regardless. So let's go over to our part file and we will start a new sketch. Actually, before we start a new sketch, we're going to go to manage and we're going to go per, to parameters. Now, what a parameter is, is it's just going to define a value using some variable name. Inventor actually automatically does this all the time and you can give certain dimensions names. But we'll go over that later. But I'm going to add a um, numeric parameter, and I'm going to just name that uh, D. That's what it was on our drawing. So I'm just going to name it D, and I am going to give it a value. And in this case, it defaults to one inch, but uh, I think our smallest was 1.5 inches. We'll go back and look. Yeah, it was 1.5 inches. So we're going to make that just 1.5 inch. And I'm going to say I'm done. So now I can jump in and I can make a sketch. And I'm going to use the ellipse tool and make an ellipse here. And our height of this ellipse. Uh, was one half d. So I'm going to say that this equals 0.5 d, 0.5 times d. And we have defined d back in our parameters. And so it will now make that 0.75, which is half of the 1.5 that I said that I set d at originally. And we're going to do the same thing for the width. That was Point going to equal uh, one fourth times d, and there we go. Now that's one fourth d. Now the center hole was just uh, three sixteenths. I need that equal sign in there, and so that'll set that. And we are finished with this sketch. We can then extrude that. And we're going to extrude that 1 16th of an inch. And there, there we go. There is that cam with those dimensions uh, based on a D of 1 half inch or 1 and a half inch. Now, if I want to change this, because uh, we're also supposed to design one that was 2 inch D, I go back into manage, I go back to parameters. And I change this to two inches. I hit done. And you'll see that it got bigger. The hole in the thickness should have stayed the same. Okay. But there it is. So we can kind of see that if I hit control Z. And you can see that the hole stayed the same size. But, every, but the overall size of the cam grew. Because it's all based on that one parameter. I can go in here if I wanted to, and I could rename things, uh, for instance, or see what names Inventor automatically gave it. So the thickness here, we can see I made it to be 1 16th of an inch. So we can see that that's D3 right here. I could rename that thickness I wanted. And then if I wanted to make anything else later the same thickness, I could just type in thickness, and I wouldn't have to remember that that was D3. Uh, similarly, uh, back when we were making our sketch originally, 
you can see that I <clears throat> made this 3 sixteenths of an inch, but I could have said I want this to be called whole equals 3 dash sixteenths. And it would have still made it the exact same size, but if we come into, if we go back to manage, and look at our parameters. You can see now it renamed it named that for us automatically whole. So you can you can give uh, a dimension a name at the time you create it, and then you can use that later to uh, as, as a reference for other dimensions, or you can come in here and find it easily if you need to change it and so forth. So that's the basics of uh, parametric dimensioning. It is very useful if you want to be able to have something that you want to be able to change the shape or change the size easily or make multiple versions of different sizes like in this example. All right, thank you for watching and that does it for today.